Hello and welcome to another Igloo Imaging Tutorial. This one's on zigzag lines and the blend tool. So we're going to create a zigzag line first and then I'm going to use the blend tool to get these uh, sort of stepped effects. So if you want to follow along, the artboard is 1920 pixels by 1080 and we're just going to start with the line tool. The shortcuts are backspace, um, so click the line tool and click and drag. Hold shift if you want it to be straight and let go. Now my stroke weight on this is 8 pixels. Um, if you can't see these tools, just press pause and, and open up your windows. Um, pause there and you can see which ones I've got open. Also in view, have smart guides and snap to point on. That'll help you out. So this is our line and we want to make it a zigzag. So we go up to effects and distort and transform and hit zigzag. And this little box, zigzag box will come up. Make sure you've got preview ticked and you can mess around with these sizes. So if I increase this up to 48 pixels, you can see a zigzag. If I hit relative, it goes crazy. Um, and ridges per segment, I can go up to a lot or however many we want. This is also a good one, although I'm on zigzags, if you hit smooth, it is a good way to do wavy lines as well. But for this one, we're going to do corners. And we're going to select, let's do six. Um, and hit OK. Now once we've got that zigzag line, you can see it's still a straight line underneath. It's just had the zigzag effect on it. If we wanted to keep that as is, we can expand it, go up to Object, Expand, and then it becomes a stroke, which we can edit if we want. But for now, we're going to keep it live. So I'm going to select it with V, and I'm going to hold Alt. You'll see the cursor go double, which copies it. And I'm going to hold Shift, which does it in a straight line. Then with V, I'm going to select both of them, and I'm going to go up to Object, Blend, Blend Options first, Smooth, we want specified steps, 8 is about fine, click OK, and then Object, Blend, Make. And there we have it. Um, on mine, you can see that the stroke weight is slightly different, so if I select with V or A, uh, that bottom line, I can uh, reduce the weight of the stroke down to say one pixel, and then that will graduate the weight of the stroke from top to bottom. And then if you select the points, you can put some wherever you want, and just mess about with your design as much as you like. So that's the blend tool using zigzag lines. If that was useful, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time.